Oh, it's Eddie Fiola. He's last year's reigning king of the skate parks. Are you going to be able to retain your title this year, Eddie? Well, I'm going to try as hard as I can. You're second right now to Brian. Do you have a chance of beating him? Uh, I think there's a pretty good chance. Brian's doing really well. Uh, I'm going to try as hard as I can. Uh, how do you uh, feel about this skate park as opposed to the other skate parks you ride in? It's one of the best skate parks that I've rode in because uh, it's the closest one around. Uh, who are you sponsored by, Ed? Uh, I'm sponsored by GT, Dino, Vans, and Oakley. Hey, listen, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for about five years now. How much longer do you think you're going to be able to keep up this kind of competition? Well, I hope I can keep it up long enough to keep my name in there, uh, maybe to come out with a freestyle frame. What trick do you think will be the uh, deciding trick in the contest today for you? Uh, just a traditional one-hander, one-footer, or just grabbing the front wheel. Listen, Eddie, I wish you a lot of luck, and I think you got a good chance of retaining your title. Thanks, I'll be needing it. We've got Eddie Fiola. He just finished his second run in the pipe bowl. Eddie will be watching some tape of that last performance in a moment here. Uh, how did you feel about it? Uh, it went really good. Uh, I just tried to, to go for a nice high air and to get the crowd going so I can get more points out of it. And then I'd go for something smaller. And, uh, what are you roll doing here, Eddie? Just rolling around, doing an uh, alley-oop rollout. I'll do another alley-oop here. Uh, foot plant and then I'll come out and uh, just start doing like a one-hander here or a one-footer and then another one-hander comes up next and then it'll be a one-hander one-footer after that that way it things just keep going up and gets the crowd more amped and gets more of a higher score
Morales again. Bob, can you tell me the difference between the regular BMX bike the kids use and the bikes they'll be using today in the competition? Okay, the bikes that we'll be using today in the competition will have a few more heavy-duty parts because of the aerials that they do where they're flying up in the air and flying back down. They need to run a stronger crank. Where most racing bikes have a lightweight crank, we run a heavy-duty steel or chromoly crank. Another big difference would be the tires. We run a like a street tire that's got no knobbies on it so you can get better traction in there or like on Eddie he runs a knobby that's all worn down on there. As for equipment that the riders are using we would run like a full motorcycle helmet or bicycle helmet with adequate gloves to, for protection on the hands, jersey with elbow guards in them and racing pants and uh, more of the skate park riders are getting into wearing plastic cups on inside the pants and then of course like BMX tennis shoes which work real well. Bye BMXers, see you next time.